the budget balance. It doesn't really have a budget to it. Cash or budgeted balance sheet. Notice the balance sheet won't, won't be typically made. We might have a, when we think of budget, in other words, we often think of a cash budget, but we're talking about basically an accrual based uh, budget balance sheet here. Although we will have a cash budget report, the balance sheet report will typically be on our normal kind of uh, accounting standard. So it would be then C, final answer, budgeted balance sheet one more time. Report that presents estimated amounts of assets, liabilities, and equity as of the end of the budget period. C, budgeted balance sheet. Next. With a budgeted balance sheet, the amount for accounts receivable can be gotten from A. The purchases budget B. The sales budget and the schedule of cash receipts C. The capital expenditures budget D. The budgeted income statement or E. The overhead budget Going through this again using the process of elimination with a budgeted balance sheet, the amount of accounts receivable can be gotten from either A, the purchases budget. Now the purchases budget is us purchasing typically inventory and that would be connected to, we would think accounts payable, stuff we owe, not accounts receivable, which we would consider to be connected with people owing us money, the customers. So I would think it not A, it would not be A. And then B says the sales budget and the schedule of cash receipts. And now the sales budget is something that I would consider, you know, that would be kind of linked to receivables, you would think, because we sell stuff to customers. And if we sell it not for cash, then we get accounts receivable, it would go up. So that sounds like it could have possibilities. I'll keep that for now. We'll go to C, the capital expenditures budget. Now, once again, we're expending money, not talking about people owing us money and capital expenditures are property, plant and equipment. So probably not C doesn't sound reasonable. D says the budgeted income statement and accounts receivable. Uh, you know, we might think about when we got paid with an income statement because sales is on the income statement. So I'll keep that for now. And then E says the overhead budget. And we're probably we're not really talking about overhead here uh, typically. So it doesn't sound like that's going to be a receivable. So let's stick with B and D go through this again. With a budgeted balance sheet, the amount for accounts receivable can be gotten from either B, the sales budget and the schedule of cash receipts, or D, the budgeted income statement. Of those two, I would think B sounds better. It's got the sales receipt, which is what we are looking for on the income statement, because the other side of it, uh, I'm, you know, when we think about accounts receivable, would be kind of sales and then cash receipts, right? And B has sales and it's got the schedule of cash receipts. So we know what the sales are, we know what we sold, and we know the amount that we got back from customers that could have paid on account, paid off their receivables. So B seems like the final answer or will be our final answer. Let's go through it one more time. With a budgeted balance sheet, the amount for accounts receivable can be gotten from B, the sales budget and the schedule of cash receipts.